I'll see you in a few days, mister. So, today's Friday, and today is part one of the leg of the journey. At the minute, I have got to get from London King's Cross to London Paddington. And I haven't got a bloody clue what I'm doing. I think I'm in the right place, but... We're gonna find out. I've got like 40 minutes, and the journey takes 15, so if I cock this up, I should still be okay. So, successfully managed to work the tube without adult supervision, and someone's travelling in style for a change. So I've arrived in Bath, and I had to stop off and get a couple of things, because as with me, I forgot one or two little things, like a phone charger, and also a padlock for my Suitcase, that was the name, that was the noise the suitcase makes. Nearly five hours to get to London, but then the problem is you have to bounce up to Bath, which took another hour and a half, so I've been on the go since eight o'clock and it's now five o'clock or so, and I've more or less only just kind of settled in. So yeah, this, this first day is very much just kind of going to be travel. I am going to go and check out a bit of Bath, have a look at the aesthetics of it, maybe get some dinner or something like that tomorrow. I will do some actual touristy shit. So it is a few hours later and I've had sort of a casual quick look around Bath and because I'm as late as I am, there's not a lot open unfortunately for me to actually check out at this point. Um, but one thing that I did do is I did actually manage to grab food at least, so I've done that. Uh, and there was a pub called The Raven which I really wanted to check out but the problem with it being it advertises itself as a, a traditional pub so naturally all the tourists flock in there. So yeah, anyway, I ended up finding another place called the Sam Weller, which was kind of along the same lines, but it was hidden down a side street, sort of away from the... I don't know really where the main tourist district in Bath is. I, I don't know, but I think I was off it because there didn't seem to be any. So that was good. Yeah, I had a steak and ale pie and a pint of ale, so I'm starting this holiday slightly drunk. I'm gonna have another bit of a walk around to see if there's any, like, nightlife. I'm not going clubbing or anything, just, you know, something like live music or something like that. Because I don't really want to just, you know, go to bed at nine o'clock because that is dumb. There is a bottle of Mars milk up there. Who did that and how? So you can't see the woman, but this is what busking sounds like in Bath. Okay, so it's a few hours later and I just fell out of a place called The Hideout and I don't know how to describe what just happened to me for the last two hours. Basically, in, in a summary, it's a cocktail bar, but I, I don't know if it's like abnormal for what normally goes on there or what, but it was a very colourful night. Basically, I ended up... Um, for the last two hours just kind of talking to a couple of locals and they've given me a lot of hints and tips about what's worth seeing, what's worth avoiding. Uh, Bristol came up a fair few times and we had a lot of drinks uh, and I got to try a lot of interesting whiskies and a couple of cocktails as well. I finally tried a New York Sour which was on my to-do list for drinks uh, and it's now 10 o'clock and I'm quite squiffy and I'm like well, <laughs> I could go to bed, but that's boring. Um, but I don't know what else to do in town tonight, but that was... That's one of the better nights I've had in a bar in a very long time, so... Recommended. So last night I ended up staying out until past midnight. Last night I ended up getting quite drunk. This morning I am quite hungover. There are lessons to be learned here, but Christ knows what they are.
just finished a bus tour, basically going around the entirety of Bath. And I'm glad I did, because um, I didn't know this about the ticket. It's, it's 15 quid a ticket and they run you around the place, but it counts for two separate bus tours, and one of them goes like really far out into like like all over Bath and the surrounding areas and stuff. There's like a leaflet that I've got I'm gonna look through properly. So I'm probably gonna get that one tomorrow. But also, um, I've got an itinerary for tomorrow for the kind of things that I wanna go and see and wanna go check out. And it's kind of random, but the bus ticket entitles you to like 10% off of basically all the places I want to check out tomorrow, so I just ended up bagging a free, di well, not a free discount, but you know, a, a discount, and that's useful. Um, and I actually enjoyed it, so yeah, um, I've not recorded anything today for the simple fact that I don't know what's gone on with this camera, but for some reason, the battery was fine, it still had power in it, but the camera was reading it as if it was flat, and it was refusing to switch on, because there is a certain level where it, if it reads that there's not enough power in the battery, it'll just shut off. Um, so I wasn't able to film anything today, which is crap. But anyway, um, I didn't actually do much anyway. I've just kind of been sort of wandering around aimlessly. Uh, tomorrow is going to be the, the big one. The hangover did not help.